Hey there, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 21 of my Latvian challenge, four words a day. Today I'm going to teach you a very useful sentence to know in Latvian and that is, I would like to buy tickets to the event. In Latvian it sounds like this. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. I'll repeat it. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. The rhythm will be quite complicated. And that is, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no. I'll repeat it. No, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, no. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. And of course we'll start from the last word, which is a very long word. Pasākumu. It is a four-syllable word. Pasākumu. And that word means the event or just event. Pasākumu. And because it is a long word, I will start teaching you from the last syllable. And the last syllable is mu. Mu. The syllable is simple, isn't it? I think you are ready to pronounce it together with me twice. Mo. Mo. Fantastic. And the syllable that stands before the syllable mo is ku. It's also simple, isn't it? Ku. I think you are ready to pronounce it together with me. Ku. And once more, ku. And the last two syllables together would be ku mo. Isn't that simple? I'll repeat it and then I think we can repeat it together. Ku mo. Let's pronounce it together. Ku mo. And once more, ku mo. And once more, ku mo. And the syllable that stands before the syllable ku is sa with the long vowel a. Uh, Sa. And I'll pronounce it once more. After that, I think you can pronounce it together with me. Sa. Let's pronounce it together. Sa. And once more. Sa. And again. Sa. And now let's add it to the two syllables that we already studied. Those syllables were kumo. So these three syllables together would be Sa kumo. I'll repeat it. Sa kumo. And by the way, this is a word by itself. If there was no prefix that we will add later, this word would mean the beginning. Sa kumo. Sa kumo. And we already studied the word sa kums, but with a different ending. You learn to say no sākuma līdz beigām, right? This time there will be another word that is made out of this word sākuma. And the ending is also different. But these three syllables, once more, together are like this. Sākumu. Sākumu. Let's pronounce these three syllables together. Sākumu. And once more. Sa komo. Very well. And now we only need to add another syllable or the prefix. And that prefix is pa with a short vowel a. Pa. Pa. Let's pronounce it twice. Pa. Pa. And if we add this prefix to the word sa komo, we get a noun that translates as the event or event. Pasākumu. Pasākumu. The stress is on the first syllable. Pasākumu. I'll repeat it. Pasākumu. And now let's say it together. Pasākumu. And once more. Pasākumu. In Latvian, many words are made of other words by adding prefixes only. And some words are made of other words by adding suffixes. 
But anyway, the word that stands before the word passakomo is the word that you already know. And that word is uz. Uz passakomo means to the event. Can we say it together? I'll repeat it once more and after that I think you can say it together with me twice. Uz passakomo. Let's say it together. Uz passakomo. And once more. Uz passakomo. Very well. Now we need to learn to say the word that means tickets. That might be a little challenging because there is the difficult consonant in it. So that word is biljetes. Biljetes. That difficult consonant is the consonant i, the L with a comma underneath. Biljetes. Biljetes. This is a three-syllable word, so I'm not going to teach you every syllable. Let's try to pronounce it together. Biljetes. Once more. Biljetes. And again. Biljetes. And again. Biljetes. And now I'll add this word to the two words that we studied already. Biljetes uz pasakumu. I'll repeat it. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Do you hear stresses? The stress is on the syllable bi, biljetes, and on the syllable pa, pasakumu. I'll repeat these three words again. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Do you think you can pronounce it together with me? I think so too. Let's say it. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Let's say it again. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Very well. But now we need to learn the word nopirkt, which means to buy. Nopirkt. Nopirkt. There is the diphthong o in the first syllable. Nopirkt. Nopirkt. And there is the Latvian r sound in the second syllable. Nopirkt. Nopirkt. I think you are ready to pronounce it together with me twice. Nopirkt. Once more. Nopirkt. Very well. And now I'll add this word to the three words that we studied already. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. It's quite complicated, but you can do it. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. The stress is on the syllable no and on the syllable bi and on the syllable pa. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Let's try saying it together. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. It's challenging, but let's try again. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. And once more. Nopirkt. Biljetes uz pasakumu. Very well. Can you try doing it without me? Please try. Very well. And we need to add another word that you don't know yet. Vēlētos. 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 This word doesn't mean want. This word means would like to. It's the form that makes it to mean would like to, would like. Vēlētos, vēlētos. And in this word, the broad vowel ā, which is broad and long, appears twice, in the first and in the second syllable. 
that will be challenging, as well as we have the diphthong o, valatus, valatus. Let's try saying it together. Valatus, valatus. Let's do it again. Valatus, and once more. Valatus. Now I'd like to add the word s because you know that word already. And here the vowel e is short and narrow. It's not a, it's e, s, s. And in contrast, a is broad and long. I'd like us to pronounce these two words together. They sound like this s. Valatus. I'll repeat it. S valatus. And the word S is not stressed in this sentence. S valatus. S valatus. Let's try saying it this way. S valatus. Let's do it again. S valatus. Very well. And once more. S valatus. Let's add the word nopirkt to the words es and vēlētos. It will sound like this. Es vēlētos nopirkt. I'll repeat it. Es vēlētos nopirkt. Let's pronounce it together. Es vēlētos nopirkt. And once more. Es vēlētos nopirkt. No pirkt. Very well. And this means I would like to buy. Es vēlētos no pirkt. And let's add the other part of the sentence. Biļetes uz pasākumu. Let's pronounce it together. Biļetes uz pasākumu. Let's do it again. Biļetes uz pasākumu. Are you ready for the full sentence? It will sound like this. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. Let's try doing it together. I'll reduce the pace. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. Let's do it once more in this pace. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. I'll pronounce it faster now and then I hope you'll pronounce it faster together with me. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. Let's try doing it. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. Good! And now I'll pronounce it in a normal native Latin's rhythm and pace. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. Biļetes sounds very fast, doesn't it? You hardly hear the vowels. Biļetes. Es vēlētos nopirkt biļetes uz pasākumu. That's the pace you should be striving for. But now I will end the lesson and I hope to see you tomorrow again. Uzredzēšanos! Atā līdz rītdienai!